What's going on everybody? I'm Brian and welcome to the WBRG BTV, Brian's technical videos where we work on customer bikes, show you step by step what needs to be done. If you're wanting to get your bike worked on here at BTV, top link below, let's get to work. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Welcome to BTV. Today we are working on a 2019 Kawasaki Z650. We're gonna be replacing the front and rear brake pads with a uh, full centered material set. If you would like to have your bike worked on here at BTV, link in the description below, as well as a link for our parts below. Thanks a lot, let's get to work. All right, uh, 2019 Z650 brake pads. All right, dismount the caliper, spread the pads apart to make room for the new ones. This is the locator pin that I cracked loose before I took the caliper off of the fork. Before I go ahead and put all this stuff in here, let's take care of this pin a little bit. You can see it's a little corroded, it's definitely dry. So we're going to take the corrosion off of it, smear with a little bit of grease before we send it back home. Okay, so a small piece of scotch bright, and we'll just clean the pin up a little bit. There we go. A little bit of grease. You don't want to put too much on here because then it's going to, over time with heat, melt off and drip down and it could contaminate your brake pads. So not a whole lot, just a real, real light film of grease on the pin. Just gonna hang this bolt in here so I can go grab some Loctite real quick. Okay, a little bit of blue Loctite here. Do the same thing to this one. Tighten our pin, tighten our caliper mounting bolts, moving to the other side. Now, before I start the other side, I just want to pump up this other caliper and make sure there's enough room inside the reservoir for when I spread these pads as well.
clean the pin, follow up with a little bit of grease, just like the other side. Install our pin. Okay, now make sure everything is aligned. Okay, a little bit of blue Loctite for our mounting hardware. All right, we're going to tighten our pin, Let's tighten our mounting bolts, pump up our brakes. Okay, now we are going to move to the rear. Start here, we're going to crack our, wow, crack our pin loose. We're going to remove this bolt. Should allow us to do what we need to do. So we still have a little bit of room in there. We can get in here and spread this. Okay. That'll give us room for our new pads. Clean up the pin. Okay, a little bit of grease. All right, let's make sure all of our pads are lined up in place. grease up here on this section where it slides. Now this pin has got some green Loctite on it already. A little bit left in here. I'm going to leave that in. There it goes. That looks good there. Go to the other side. We have our front brake pads installed. We have our rear brake pads installed. Before I finish up here, I do want to clean off the rotors and adjust this drive chain, which is a, is a bit loose while it's up here. So almost there, a couple more minutes and we'll be ready to go. Wow. Dude, I don't know who put that thing on, but they were not nice to it when they did it.
So uh, we've just finished up with our uh, brake pad replacement on our 2019 Kawasaki Z650. Uh, front and rear brake pads are in. I set the tire pressures, adjusted the chain, put a little lube on the side stand, all these little, little touch things that uh, I tend to do on pretty much any machine. The clutch cable was adjusted properly. The throttle cables need to be adjusted just a hair. I did that as well. Last thing, but not least, after doing a brake pad replacement is I wanna make sure that my rotors are clean. So you have fresh pads on a clean rotor. I don't think you guys actually wanna watch me roll this thing off the lift and clean the brake pads or clean brake rotors. So uh, we'll see you on the next one.